on Canada Day, I showed how the residential comes right down to these canals here in Kelowna. And so you park your speedboat right here, grab a bite, and take off, or you walk out of your condo, pop in your boat, and away you go. And go for a nice evening kayak if you feel like it. And then the lake is behind there. Okanagan Lake is directly behind. Hey guys, welcome back to I Will Wander. It is a painting day, as you can see by the new painting shirt I've got going here. This one here, called King, certain look, feel, technique to it. And then we go to this one, second attempt had a similar kind of a technique. Going to do something a little bit different today. Going to do an acrylic pour. And there's kind of a variation on what I'm talking about, just sort of larger scale. I'm going to do an acrylic pour. Everything set up, including the coffee. And I'm going to let the pour sit for a little while. And if I'm really pleased with it, I'll just leave it. But if not, what I plan to do is the thing where I put tape on one side of a thing, put it into a palette. I'm just starting to use palette mixes. And then apply that to the canvas and see what we get. So that's the plan at this point. An acrylic pour with various mandala shaped multicolored patterns on top of that. So we'll see how she goes. I'm also, uh, for the first time in a long time, Normally I just mix the acrylic paint with water um, and it turns out fine. But another option is to mix it with school glue. It gives it another sort of texture. And I'm gonna give that a shot today too and see how that goes. So I'll bring you along. Okay, round one of the acrylic paint pour mix is done. These are the colors I'm gonna be going with initially. I'm gonna put a lot more black in though. I want the, the main color to be black with a bit of Elmer's glue and I put a little bit of water in as well, mix that up and there we go with the blank canvas. So what I do is I get a bigger cup, let me show you a little bit more of the technique, bigger cup and into there go the first mixes. Okay, so first mixes are prepped, then pour this out here. No pattern to this, no wrong to this, obviously, it's just whatever evolves, and whatever you're pleased with. And at this point, I'm intending to make this acrylic pour just the base layer for what I'm doing with the mandalas. And then once the initial pour is done, you start to spread it out. I'll get back to you. This is round two for the pour. I'm gonna spread it out and see how it goes. Okay, here is the not dry yet painting I just did. I was going to cover at least part of it with these mandala like patterns. Camera likes to die. I was going to cover at least part of it with uh, mandala like patterns, but like with most acrylic pores, once you're done, you start to like it. And I like this one. It's called Get It, Get It, but pronounced Get It for in honor of Shanka, the woman who passed away this week, who sings that song in the Elvis movie that was just released. I've been listening to the Elvis soundtrack again. 
So, in honor of the woman who sings that song, we're calling it Get It, and I like it. I'll post a photo when it's completely dry, because they do change appearance um, after they dry. It'll look different. Get it. I keep thinking I'm done, and then I get one final incredible shot out of this area. So this is the road. We're going back to Princeton from Colmont, which is that way. Princeton's that way. Then, I think you can get that, that river down there. The river runs through it. I'm doing the vanity shot where it's pointed at me because it, it is kind of my thing, right? This is all kind of about me, right? This is what YouTube is. I'm on a cliff. I just had a little bit of vertigo there. And if I go over that cliff, that turns into a bad day. So I'm going to be a little more cautious here. But I do want to show you something for the final little extra goodbye scene. So you've got all this, sorry about the wind, I'm getting a road mic, guys, I promise. So you've got all this incredible beauty, this river runs through it, and then down there, you've got people camping right beside that river. It's a long weekend here right now, it's family day weekend, tomorrow's family day here in British Columbia, so that's how these lucky folks are spending their long weekend camping by that river. That's a nice weekend. Colmont, BC, just up that way. It's an incredible little, little journey. I'm really glad I did it. I just remembered, guys, my little spiel at the end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you haven't already, if you could just take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Doesn't cost anything, just takes a second. And it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Popularizes this channel with all its stunning vistas like we've got going on behind us here. And I just appreciate it. And you know how to do this. The like, thumbs up as well. That would be appreciated as well. It, it helps out with the, the YouTube. Thanks, guys.